Hi. A lot of entrepreneurs think that um, they can get funding if they have a brilliant idea. And they have an idea and they go at and they knock on a lot of doors and uh, get very surprised when they get turned down. Now, why is that? Why is it so hard to raise money on an idea, even if it's really good? And this is what I'd like to talk about in this video. My name is Victoria Yampolsky, and I run the Startup Station, a comprehensive resource for modeling and valuing early stage ventures. And I want to start by um, talking about a video that I recently watched on Netflix, and it was a long lost interview with Steve Jobs, who of course was a brilliant man and an inventor. And he talked about how he takes products from an idea to completion. And he talked about this concept of a great craftsmanship that is required to take a product from an idea to a completion stage. Okay, and so if you think about it, just because you have an idea, it doesn't yet mean that you have the craftsmanship to make it into a product and to build a company out of it. And that's precisely why investors may be very reluctant to give you money, because you first need to prove that you are able to execute on your idea. So who may be able to raise money on an idea? An experienced entrepreneur, right? If Steve Jobs walked into any visa office and said, give me $10 million, I want to work on something new, he would get it. Why? Because he has a very successful track record of taking ideas from an idea stage to a completion stage, right? He understands what it takes, what needs to happen, the processes that need to be put in place, how to resolve challenges, how to change an idea based on the information that he gets, etc. If you're an entrepreneur with no track record, you need to show that you've got a little bit of this craftsmanship to give investors assurances that you're going to be able to execute and build a business that's going to make them a lot of money. Okay, that's why they want an MVP, which is a glimpse into what a product may look like, right? A glimpse into your craftsmanship. That's why they want a business plan, because they want to see how your execution strategy is going to work. That's why they want to see some custom attraction because this is your proof of taking a product to market. Now, I think it's a little bit clearer why ideas, why they may be great, are not necessarily enough to make investors part with their hard earned cash. So dream up big ideas and then go and validate them and build amazing products to learn how to model companies and model various business models for your products. Take course number two. As always, if you like this video, please like it below, share it with your friends, and I will see you next time.